watching, making a quick video on how to use stain. A lot of people don't know this and they'll go and use a brush. If you could use a brush, but the problem is it's gonna splash everywhere. So make sure you got your dirty clothes on. You're supposed to use a rag. That's the correct way. So I'm gonna go ahead over here and show this. And you just rub it. Make sure that you put something underneath because it's gonna drip and it'll be tough to get out. Also, the reason I'm wearing a glove, if this stuff seeps in your skin, you'll start to feel sick. Have a fan blowing. I turned it off right now so you guys could hear the video. That way you don't breathe it. And if you wanna wear a mask, that would be great too because this stuff could smell really bad and start to get you dizzy. And we're just showing you guys how it's going here. One coat should be good. If you do double coat it, it'll start to get darker and darker, but I don't think it's really made to be double coated or whatnot. Just over here in the garage, staining this bench that I put together, made myself. Show that off too real quick. If anybody wants to build a bench, got some holes in here for uh, pliers, screwdrivers, and over here to hang clamps. Just made this out of old barn wood, this one too. Made my own drawers over here put stuff in you can even use my markers if you want stained all that this was all stained got it looking real rough right here must have had a drip there but gives a character uh made this myself too uh what do you call those you know what they are they're holders <laughs> and a shelf up there might inspire you to do that but we're back over here to staining what the video is about look at that that looks really cool I only had this left over. I probably would have went a little lighter than this. I think it's natural base ebony or something. It's real dark, almost like a black. But you could use lighter colors to get that wood grain in there. I mean, that looks really cool right there. But wish it all looked like that. Maybe if I use a lighter coat, it would have. But back on staining, you let this dry. Usually I let it dry for a couple days before I start using it because it can still be a little wet. That's all, that's all there is to staining. You do need a brush probably to get up in those corners and stuff like that, but get ready to splash. If you're gonna wear your nice clothes, they won't be nice after you're done. I can promise you that, because this stuff will get on you. I've tried so many times to just say, oh, I'm just gonna stain a little bit, because I do a lot of staining, but I always ruin my clothes. So now I got a bunch of work clothes. That's about it for staining. If you wanna know how to stain, leave a comment. If I miss something, leave it in the comment to help people out. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. If you learned something, give me a thumbs up.